<laughs> DJ Chark, uh, rumor is back at practice. Romeo Quara, that we have a sighting. Yeah, he was back with the team per uh, per our own Madeline Miller, per Pride of Detroit, per Dave Burkett. Everybody said he was back. He per wasn't who? practicing. I, after, who'd you say after Madeline Miller? Uh, Pride of Detroit. Oh, okay. D- Dave Burkett. It's, they every- stopped writing about the backup quarterbacks? Yeah. Spinning dimes in practice? Yeah, no, they, they wrote that he was... Uh, he was there. He didn't practice, but he was there with the team for the first time since his injury. And his play clock has officially started. 21-day clock has officially started. Okay, okay. You know, body by body, D-Mac. Body well, by body. The guys fun- are coming back. Well, it's, isn't it a little bit funnier if you look at the injury report or stuff like that? And some guys are hurt. You look at Frank Ragnall, walking boot after the game, missed practice yesterday. But guys are trying to... Guys are trying to get out, right? Try, guys are trying to be a part of it. You hear them talk uh, in the locker room. There's some confidence going on in there. So, um, yeah, I mean, they, I guess it's a good sign. Availability is the one thing. So what? Uh, we're just waiting on uh, uh, James Williams to start the same sort of clock. Which he's, he's ready his, to roll next week. Right, so next practice week. Practice-wise. Practice-wise, and then he'll be on the 21-day clock to decide. You have, what, three weeks, this 21 days, of whether practice. you put him on that the unable-to-perform list for the practice. whole season, right? That's it. So, uh, I yeah, positive, I guess. Where, where are you weighing in on this, T-Foss? I'm weighing in on this. Jameson Williams is going to be – the guy that puts the icing on the cake for Brad Holmes. Because the Lions have a history of drafting injured players and they never do anything. I think this guy is a guy that could be so dynamic you have to take a chance on him. And so he's going to come in and we may not see it until December of this year or maybe not until next year. But I think this guy is going to make a big impact on this Really. Team. Yes. The ultimate Lions hater, I was told. That's what you are, Terry. That's what, I, that's uh, what we know, were told. You know what? I speak my mind. If they do something good, I say it. If they screw up like they usually do, I say it. <laughs> that's what I do. You know what's funny about that? So, so when, we talked about, when we talked about everyone seems to be in harmony, I swear to God, Philippines On Demand texted Im- immediately and said, bring in Adam, and that will wreck it right away. And then Adam <laughs> appeared. Yeah. Literally at the same time, Adam appeared. You see what it is? I Well, I had to ask him. It's just unfortunate that our most uh, yeah, computer uh, literate guy is also, too, the one that likes to throw around the fingers. So, you know, they, some I mean, people, it's so apropos. Adam, welcome. Did you want to say anything to Terry? Yeah, right yeah, there yeah while some you're people here? are home wreckers. Adam is a show wrecker. Yep. Come on, you got anything to say to that? I'll let you. All right. All right. Fair enough. But notice that no bad, ill words yeah. were spoken. There was he didn't no. Say, he didn't say anything bad. There was no. There was no morning wood going on in the, the energy, as you can tell. So appreciate that, Adam. Thank you. Uh, another Adam, Adam Coleman in the WoodwardSports.com chat thread says, "Getting healthy. Let me chug this Lions Kool Aid." So, you know, hey, look, uh, Louis M. Jamo's going to be legit. Can't wait to see him. In action, that that will be a big, that will be a big debut, right? Because hope sells, right? Like that is. Remember a few weeks ago, it was well, you know, you don't need him anyway because you have the number one offense in the NFL. Well, how's that working out lately? Yeah, now it's we don't have any receivers. Yeah, every man on board. Uh, Rad Dad Scott, I thought Adam was the ultimate Lions hater. Well, maybe more of a Dan Campbell hater. Yes. That's accurate. That is accurate. That's fi- that's fair and that's accurate. But I mean, you guys know where, and, and we've let you kind of behind the curtain a little bit, where we kick around ideas on a little text thread, and, and Spencer does a great job cooking up these show sheets and everything like that. And he asked the question: Can a healthy Lions, healthy Lions, underline healthy, can a healthy Lions team make a wild card run? Now, Spencer, you're talking about this year, right? This year, yeah. They haven't been healthy all year. Right. I mean, if they were healthy from the beginning, I think that we have a better record. S- say in the two next wins. two weeks they get but, Chark, J-Mo, and Romeo back. But you know what? If the Lions were healthy, they'd be the only healthy team in the National there Football League. Yeah. And, and, and here's, here's see, the, the thing with me on that one, Spence, is you got to win both of these games. Yes. You know, like that's, it's pretty much a non-negotiable. Yeah. It's, I, I said it on heavyweight, heavyweights a couple of days ago. I was like, 
yeah, these last two wins, they're good. They feel good. They make you feel good. We're on the graphic, two games out. But if they go into New York and beat the Giants in MetLife, then I'll actually give some run to possibly pushing a wild card. Are we back? Playoffs. Are we back where we were after the Washington game? Going into the Seattle game or whatever, thinking we can win this game, thinking we can put something together. Either That's a good comp. You know, like, you, because, but here's what I'm trying, here's what it brings to thought to mind, is we were dead in the water, right? After Seattle game, after, like, talking about the end of the world. Now it's not the end of the world, like you said, even the graphics. So, go out there and win a game. You've put yourself back in. I don't, I don't expect these guys, to, this, this week, I think they got a great shot to win. I don't expect them to make the wild card, but if it's different, they go out there and they win this weekend. They are there. They put themselves there. We can't, we can't deny that. But to me, it sort of feels like going in expecting to win against that home against Seattle, right? You know, there's just some sort of expectations. It's it's almost like this team. You expect them to start the accelerator and to start moving, and then they always they always conk out, right? And your transmission's gone. This time, it seems that they're getting some gears together. The only chance they have, Spenny, is to be healthy, yeah. to have these guys back, right? You're not going to win games with Tom Kennedy and and I don't oh, even know the other guy mouth. that you, you brought up. You shut your mouth, Darren McCarty. Practice squad, You right? shut your mouth, Darren McCarty flannel. I, I'm saying like that if, you, if he's your number two receiver. <laughs> All right, let me be trouble. bad. Fellas, every time you think the Lions are going to do something, <laughs> that, they now, don't. this is true. This they is true. They screw you. Now, at the beginning of the season – Every one of us walking around, oh, Lions going to be good this year. They at least won seven games. I got my uh, car wash guy. They're going to win 15 games. So you all jacked up. Let's let the season begin. What happens? They start one and five. You don't have the luxury of not being healthy. If you're healthy, right, we saw coming out of camp, but then guys start going down. Absolutely. You know, Swift, Swift is the key. I think this is totally Dude, different team. The no key, matter, then you in trouble. I know you are. <laughs> I, I agree, but Swift is sort isn't, of your isn't key. Isn't this crazy? Because that, that is where we are. Right. Because look at the offense versus when he's there and when he's not. You right. can't argue it. Even if you didn't know anything about football, you would say, "Wow, it looks really different when that guy's not there." Mm-hmm. And even when he's on the sideline or whatever, he opens up the options to whatever the defense. He's in the he's in the game. You're scoring points in the second half, right? Right. BoardSports.com chat thread, uh, chat poll as well. Spenny put it out there. What return helps the Lions more, JMO or Romeo? I voted for Romeo. I agree. Because look at the defense, man. You, you need every good defensive player that you can get. Don Burr in the WoodwardSports.com chat thread in all caps. Man, give this kid time to develop. Damn. But, see, Don, here's the thing, what though. What are you talking about? About we- Jamison Williams. Oh, okay. We Here- are. We're saying... When he comes back, when he comes, well, he hasn't even been gone. I mean, he can't say you, he, when he comes back, he hasn't been here any. But we're just saying, I'm just simply saying this guy can be a difference maker. He is fast. He's talented. Lions need him. And, and that is true. But, Don, see, here's the thing, right? And if we were going to pull that with Aiden Hutchinson, we're going to pull that with Jamison Williams, too. You just are. This is professional football. This is the NFL. People don't have time for that anymore, man. Once once you start playing for money, and this is the pros, that's the way it works. If you're out there, people are going to expect you to perform. And we can say we don't. This is what I've learned this year. We can say we don't, and we can say D-Max clock, and we can say all of those things. But things change quickly. And especially the day and age that we're in right now, immediate gratification, immediate results, all of it, things change quickly. Quickly, yeah. There, there's eight games left and on the and clock. And maybe, maybe this is a young fella here. Here, I, sometimes I have to take time out and explain the history of the Detroit Lions. Young fellas, listen to Uncle Terry here. Okay. Here's what happens with the Lions traditionally: they draft someone who's injured. Either that player never plays, or that player plays on crutches and is awful the rest of his career. And then Lion fans are like, "Oh, damn! Why did?" Why did they draft another injured player? Now, Lions what I'm fans. saying is Jamison Williams is going to be different. He's going to come back. He's going to play. He's going to be good. 
which is atypical of a Lions draft pick who comes in injured. I agree because I, Jameson Williams, it was just an ACL tear, and you say that ten years ago, people think you're stupid because that was a death sentence. Right. But now mm-hmm. it's people pop back from ACL tears like nothing happened. So I expect him to come back and. What he brings to the team is so crazy. Like, I for- Khalif Raymond had a catch against uh, Chicago. Chicago. It was like, it was like Williams a, a seven-yard slant. Yep. And he, he took it like 20 yards. I was like, yeah, Jameson would have. They weren't he catching him. He got caught from behind that. if memory serves, yes, too, right? Yes, he did. Yeah. I was like, they wouldn't have caught Jameson on that. That would have been a house call. And and the thing, too, is, and, and I shared this on draft day and stuff like that, and uh, – my sources, Terry. You're not the only one that can have sources. Yeah, do you have league sources, though? Uh, I do. They okay. spend a lot of time in the league. Will you please emphasize that with league sources? League sources. sources. Okay. Multiple decades in the NFL, in the on the medical side. Okay. Said that the people he talked to were, were very, very much okay with the Jamison Williams situation because the structure around it was intact and fine. Yeah, right. It wasn't it was like strictly, a Levy Bell. Strictly a tear. Mm-hmm. Strictly a tear of the ACL, that was it. The structure was fine. So so if that is the case, and I think that the, the Lions have done it well, you don't want to rush this player that can be, if we're talking about arguably a ga- the game changer for your future and your future success, but here's the one thing, what we'll see, you mentioned with the clock, that's our clock as fans. In that locker room, there's a clock, too. They go out and win this weekend. Yeah, the clock is Sunday. They go out. No, no, but they go out and win this weekend. You might see both these guys. We hear more and more. Oh, are they starting to get ready? Are they starting to get ready? Because sure as heck, Neil, what are they going to do? If he can play, right, they're going to make sure he's there. If they have a chance to get in a wild card, if they continue to win games. And he's going to want to be out there. Uh, as a professional athlete, so Dan Campbell in his press conference the other day didn't completely rule out him playing on Thanksgiving. He said it's not likely, though. 